Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. I mean, come on, DC. Mike Tyson with this DMX intro backdrop. I'm anxious as if I'm fighting. This is a huge moment for the history of mixed martial arts and for the International Boxing Hall of Famer, Mike Tyson. It all works together. It really just all works together whenever you watch Mike Tyson from the song to the, the look to the bobbing of the head to the posse. Iron Mike Tyson is just one of those guys that draws you in and he is bringing a lot of new eyes to the UFC octagon. He can wrestle a little bit too, John, so don't be surprised if on the first shot Mike Tyson hits him with the big sprawl to defend his leg. Only thing I can guarantee you, he's not going to be taking any bites of cauliflower ear <laughs> in the octagon tonight. We're certainly happy to have Mike Tyson. Let's see how it goes. The baddest man on the planet. And with that, we are ready to go for this co-main event. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, the cooler. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. Ready, ready, good. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson, formerly the baddest man on the planet. You know the flurry is coming. He'll throw uppercuts and hooks. Use that signature peak of his style and get inside. On the other side, look for his opponent to try to take him down and neutralize the striking game of Mike Tyson. If you can't get him to the canvas, you're likely in for a short night at the office. Punches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block out. So more output, at least in the early going. throws all of himself into that kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Tyson. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively this one. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice front kick there. striking stylist you can do worse than watching this guy compete beautiful job defensively head movement foot movement and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round just over three minutes to go oh nice jab counter for him there as usual this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight almost as if he's double parked outside Dude's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't place the action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands, he lands, and he can be so aggressive. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh, 
These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to knock his head on the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Got the single collar tie. Strong punch to the head in the clinch. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no chance. Nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. He's going to take off right here. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, wow. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Tyson gets caught, and it's another straight punch. He has had no answer for that weapon tonight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So Iron Mike Tyson's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Under a minute now to go round one. Straight right hand counter. Useful. Oh man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Nice straight punch there. Tyson is closing up. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, that killie is tight. That's got to be it. Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. All right, feet on the hips here. So the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kids to sing at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Ooh, what a punch. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused... Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Nice shot. Oh, he didn't like that one. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you get another hurt, he's hurt back. Tyson, strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, that'll snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Nice. Nicely done. 
Straight punch there again. Been there all night. And that's, that's the stranger in the engagement there. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. So Iron Mike Tyson's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big shot lands to both guys. Shot is blocked there by Tyson. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! Spinning back fist. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Looks like a cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the face. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Tyson's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek and it's only getting worse. Oh! That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful jab lands. It's serving good to throw more of Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. Or his fight's going to be on his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, nice right hand. So Iron Mike Tyson's been dealing with that cut on his nose for. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. minutes in the can. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many Great situations. Fight. You Great. can't do that when you're fighting Great. a guy like this. He doesn't change something, he's gonna find himself in trouble. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, several moments on both sides. The fight is still going on. Great moment by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. So Iron Mike Tyson's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Clean punch. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous one. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Oh! Back to his feet. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good. 
didn't seem to smell blood in the water, and now it's a penalty back. When blood's in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. Oh, my goodness! Oh, another knockdown! Tyson's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't, very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Mm, that was nice. He should be trying to get back to his feet. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Tyson's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Score. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both even though. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the cooler. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.